Today we're working with our friends at Miller Marine in beautiful St. Cloud, Minnesota. Hi folks, I'm Nathan with Two Guys in a Ride. Today Rob and I are out here on a beautiful day in St. Cloud with TJ at uh, Miller's Marine, which is the largest Bennington pontoon dealer in the world. Yep, yep, Miller Marine up in St. Cloud, Minnesota. Now, uh, TJ, explain to us what's behind us here. So we've got a, a 2022-23 RCW Bennington Tri-Tune here on the show floor. Uh, brand new boat um, for sale on the show floor. Um, this particular one happens to have a blackout package, um, you know, and a dual accent stripe on the outside, along with a whole bunch of options that, you know, that you'll see as we kind of walk through it. Okay, well, I, I tell you, it looks beautiful. So let's, let's just start here at the front. Let's start with the lights. So you got docking lights? Yeah, they've got an upgraded stainless steel LED do uh, docking light that integrates the navigation, the red and the green navigation light on the bow uh, right into the uh, into the dock light package a little bit lower profile a little bit sturdier in case you've got you know uh, you know the people who are you know are stepping on it and jumping off the sides doing anything like that and lots of stainless steel on this boat yeah there is yep yep stainless steel docking lights you stainless know, steel cleats. cleats yep uh, stainless steel rail on the back end of the uh, of the rcw chase lounge boat and then a stainless steal um uh, ski tow bar yep. okay so the tri tubes yep all right, so what is the, the purpose of having a tritune as opposed to just a pontoon? Mm -hmm. when, you, uh, when you add that full-length third tube down the middle, you, you lift the boat up um, you know, and add so much buoyancy to it that it allows it to get moving much quicker than it did before. So you can still do uh, you know, water sports stuff behind the boat. Okay. You can even ski it out. You know, tube, ski that it. kind of stuff. Yeah. Okay. Now, uh, as far as the tubes go, um, you know, pontoons are, are made so differently. Mm -hmm. Uh, on the Bennington boats, how are they made? All of Bennington tubes, um, all of them are baffled throughout. So they've got bulkheads in them at every weld point. So weld uh -huh. point in the front, so weld point in the middle. So not hollow all the way Correct, up. weld point in the back. Yep, okay. so they're chambered tubes. Okay. You know, pressure tested before they leave the factory. Um, Bennington, uh, you know, is one of the few manufacturers that doesn't put any, you know, drain plugs on the back of their tubes. We get the question a lot from customers, why is that the case? Because these guys are, you know, they have a, what they call a lifetime warranty on all the structural components of their boat. And it's a true lifetime warranty, 100% parts and labor for the life of the, you know, the boat for the, for the first owner. Okay. And, uh, and basically what they're saying is when we pressure test and we build these tubes, there should be, you know, no leaking in them. If there is, there's, you know, there's a, there's a, a, a fail on a weld or something somewhere and we need to take care of it, you know, under warranty right. 100%. And so, and so we don't even have drain plugs. I know a lot of manufacturers, you know, okay. will, will Well, that was kind of what I was shooting at. You, yeah. you, you read me right. I was, that's, yeah. that's the line I was going down. When you drive them, they tell me that on the tri-tunes, you can corner almost like a regular speedboat. Correct. Correct. Yep. I, I mean, mean you, you don't. I mean, for those of us who have just the double pontoon, mm -hmm. and you're going, oh no, you can't. It's, like, it's just, it's amazing what it does. It does, and it turns really, really flat too. So you don't have that that big bank like you get out of certain boats. They they turn at a sharp radius, but they don't. Turn, they don't they really turn pretty bank. flat. Yeah. 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 Okay. Well, let's let's walk around this way. We do have a, a front gate. Yep. And a, and um, you know probably uh, close close to a foot and a half, two feet of deck sticking out the front. Sure. So you definitely could walk out here for tying up for different you know getting off the dock, dropping passengers off easily. Yep. These are are custom for the Bennington. Yep, yep. They're engraved with the Bennington uh, the Bennington name and you know in their font on on the top of the cleat. Um, we prefer in a lot of situations if we can you know if the boat allows us to we like to put in the retractable cleats just because. There's so no much water tripping. sports stuff oh. happening on the back of these tritunes nowadays between you know the the diving boards that we can put on and the jumping in the water and floating on the pads and you know coming up from tubing and skiing so yeah. when it's it, it just eliminates that you know that you've seen them before oh yeah Catching the oh yeah i i, I know what it's water. like yes <laughs> okay so um let's i i do i just comment i love the design i love this is i is this color ocean yeah blue? so the main color of this boat is ocean blue and then you have a uh, um, 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 midnight black accent midnight du black. dual accent yeah that looks really good that's that right. is a right. sharp sharp change now talk about the guard that's on the pontoons mm -hmm. this section from right from basically from right in here all the way down and then you have your guard is called vantage wrap and guard so what that is is it's a it's a it's an aftermarket product that we put on the tubes after they arrive from the factory. There's varying different colors and, and options that you can do depending okay. on how you want to accent the look of your boat. It does a couple of things. One, on boats like this where you have the blackout rails, so you got black anodized rail, black anodized rub rail, 
black anodized skirting. It carries that blackout look all the way down into the water. So when this boat sits in the water, really you don't see you, know, you the don't see the, the tubes for the most part yeah. underneath. You end up with that you know that aggressive water line on the aluminum yes. tubes, just like you do on every yep. pontoon you know that, that we've ever had. Here you can take you know warm soapy water in a rig and you can wipe that whole thing down you know multiple times throughout the summer and you you don't end up with that water line. So when yeah. you're floating the boat in the water, you don't you know you're not bothered yep. around seeing that line above and below the water line. Okay. The guard here, if you are anchored up against another boat, um, you know, it is the widest point on the tube itself. So it does add some protection. Or even if you get, you know, if you didn't, you know, scratch some of this vinyl up in here, we can section that vinyl out, put a new section. Oh, really? You You'd have it. to really be right up on top of it in order to, to notice it. that it was ever sectioned wow. out. Yeah. Okay. Let's, let's step to the back here. You have got uh, an extendable ladder of some sort here? Yep. So this is the R-series stainless steel ladder to match all the stainless steel aluminum, or excuse me, the stainless steel rails and the stainless steel ski toe bar on the back end. So that's a four-step drop-down ladder, um, you know, telescopes in, telescopes out. There are other ladder options on the boat. This particular one we put with the stainless steel uh, ladder to match the stainless steel bar and then the stainless steel rails on the, on the rear chase lounge. Okay, a little wider steps? Yep, yep, flat steps, so they're not rounded off, so you feel like you're wrapping your arms around. When, when you go, step. yeah, when you're getting up barefoot, it's like, ah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Four like, step is important. You're not feeling like you're trying to put your foot up by your chin to try to climb back climb up on the boat. You know, you can yep. get it kind of more at, you know, at, at you know, near nice. waist level. Yeah, good details to know. Because, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, three <laughs> steps. I know exactly what you're talking about. Yeah, exactly. Okay, yeah. so there's your toe ski bar. Yep, yep. So this one has a hoop style ski toe bar, so it goes up over the top of the motor, comes back down on the other side, anchored into the framework of the pontoon itself. Okay. Um, you know, you'll, you'll run your ropes off of that. Also on a lot of these boats, the customers really like, uh, with these with these bigger back end decks like this, they like using this as a grab handle. Um, all right, so talk about motors. What, what range of motors can you get on here? So really, in, in theory, you can put everything from the smallest motor, you know, uh, uh, you know, down in that 50 horsepower range all the way up to this SPS plus tri-tune is rated for 250 horsepower max capacity. Okay, max capacity. Yeah, okay. So we'll sell this boat traditionally with what uh, a Yamaha VF250 show. So the 250 horsepower show engine. Um, it's got, it you, looks you, really sharp on this You boat. do realize, CJ, that my pontoon has a 60 horse. You're making me feel a little <laughs> inadequate here, but right. okay. So now, does it, for for the, for the price that it's listed, does it come with the motor? Yes. yes. Okay. Does it also come with the trailer? Um, we do not package them with trailers uh, in, in the pricing. Um, there's still okay. a lot of our customer base who doesn't buy them with trailers. Right. And, and for those of you who are watching, well, why in the world would you get a trailer? Well, not everyone wants a trailer. Mm -hmm. Because you put it in the lake, mm -hmm. and then you take it out once a year, and yeah. there's a trailer sitting next to the garage at the cabin. You're right. going around it all summer. You're not using it. Right. A you borrow places, one. You 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 pay someone to come just haul it out quick. Correct. Um, so a lot of us up in at least Minnesota don't have yeah. those trailers. Yeah. Every okay. Every guy has an option for that. It seems like. All right. Yeah, cool. So can we uh, take a step inside? Yeah, for sure. Okay. So you know, TJ, coming up here, the the very first thing because I like colors and lights and shiny things, mm -hmm. right? So I noticed the all the ambient lighting in the speakers, underneath the seats. I mean, it's everywhere. Yep. This particular boat has a uh, has a. Uh, um, an RGB color system in it, so you can change the color of the lights kind of to whatever you know, whatever you want on that 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 spectrum that the, oh, the controller I allows. That. I love it. Yeah, you can also actually have the the boat automatically cycle the light colors through. Okay. Um, you know, you can turn the speed up or turn the speed down, and it'll actually cycle through the different colors. Uh, as far as the seating in the front here, you have got these like lounge chairs yep. up here in the front. Yep. So we uh, so wrap around couches with chaise lounge ends in them. So obviously they'll, they'll double as a, you know, as a couch that you can sit, you know, you know, multiple people around, but at the same time, you know, you're, you're able to kind of come up and, you know, and use the chaise lounge stretch out, you know, forward facing in the boat when, uh, when you don't have it packed enough to, you know, to meet the space. Right. And you've got some really neat built in features. Tell us about the uh, chargers on either side. Yeah. So one of the neat features in the last few years here that have changed is we've started kind of, of course, you know, putting you USB chargers all over the boat. Um, we happen to have them up here on each side in these cutouts where the speakers are. There's a couple of sets of them at the console uh, in the back of the boat. What I like is the, uh, the the fact that they're there, but they also give you digital readout as to how much Correct. they're charging. Correct. Yep. yep. Which is neat. Now, you have another really neat <laughs> feature. If I pull this arm down, dun, 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 wireless phone charger. Yep. Yep. I love the diamond stitching. 
Yeah, so this particular this particular boat has what we call R Sport interior. Mm -hmm. So there's a regular level of interior for the R Series boats, and then there's an upgraded R Sport interior. Uh, that would be this one. The regular one has stitching as well, but this one has you know your refined baseball stitch along the top yep. of the seats. You can kind of see it's a mimics that stitch you get in a you know in a baseball. Mm -hmm. The logo is stitched into the you know into the Chase Lounge um, cushions. Um, you know the the dual uh, density foam, so you get you know you get a, a supportive feel, but at the same time you don't bottom out the seat right. when you sit down in it. So let's talk about this material because mm -hmm. it it's feels it's very smooth. To me, it, it, it feels like it would it would keep its cool in the sun as as much as furniture can. For sure, for like sure. as opposed to black or dark blue that's going to heat up yeah. with you right away. Mm -hmm. So what is this? So this is a Simtex uh, vinyl. It's still vinyl, but it's got a fabric feel to it. Yes, right? that's what it is. Yeah, so it, it's the first thing customers notice when they walk up, because you don't have that smooth, almost leather-style right. look out of the interior of the boat. It's also not shiny and glary. Correct, yeah. So in our old pontoons, well, the first thing we used to do with our daughter was, right, in a hot day, uh, days like we've had these last few days, we would go up and we'd throw a, a towel out on the front couch seats before yep. she was climbing up on those seats, right, because we're going to literally be hot to the touch. Right. This stuff, I mean, it'll be warm. If you're out in a 95-degree day and you're beating in the sun, it'll be warm, Anything but it's be never uncomfortable when you touch it or sit against it right. um it also doesn't stick to you you know when you're out in your suit and you're out in the water all day you don't get that kind of feel like you're peeling away yep. from the seats when you get up um it i see you've done yes, that before yes, that's yes, a good description yes the uh you can feel it when you feel oh, it. it's yes. much thicker than the old style vinyl used to be and so it holds up really really well to any kind of scrubbing or anything that you need to do to it if you you know if you do happen to get a you know a stain right. in the seat um, they've got a few videos on, on their website of, of them kind of pulling almost everything out of this Simtex, you know, a fabric that's gotten into it from red wine to, you know, to permanent markers. So wow. um, we've had a lot of luck with the customers so have loved it since it came out. Yeah. So. All right. So um, I'll just show you this too, because you do have a second armrest right here. No, no wireless charger on this side, but you've got the armrest and the cup mm -hmm. holder there. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, that's three cup holders on each side. Yeah, uh, and these ones are movable up in the front. So they're designed to basically move wherever you want them. They just kind of slide into the seat. You can just pick the whole yeah. the whole fixture. Oh up yeah, no, yeah. yeah. And then they got the little um, yeah. divot in the back where you can place them anywhere. Here's the, here's what, here's where I'm going with this. First of all, they have they have a little drain hole in them, Correct, yeah. so that when you somewhere they're going to drain out the back down mm -hmm. here. Yep. Uh, you got a little side pocket. Yep. yep. With a net, which is a little hard to pick up when you're just looking at it, but on both sides. But I gotta say. This is, uh, I believe, zebra wood slate. Correct. Okay. I absolutely love that. Now, yeah. it, when you get in the boat and you feel this stuff, mm -hmm. it's, you know, th th this this one's a little smoother, but that table yeah, you can is feel textured. The green in it, yeah. It, yeah. It, and when you pick it up, it's got a little heft to it. I mean, it's not heavy, but it's got heft. Here's the deal. It doesn't look cheap and plastic. Correct. And it doesn't have it that looks, bright sheen to it. That no, shows every little I, scratch that you right. put in it. Right, and if you've know. ever been sitting out in the boat pond, you're in the middle of the sun. Yeah, exactly. Last thing you want is something shiny at the bottom, you know, causing that. So, okay, let's talk storage in the front real quick. And uh, I think I can just pull this one yep, straight, straight up. up. Yep. Okay, so it hinges up. you got nice yep. so storage there. there. Compartment, will, compartment will hinge up. This one will be on a little flip here. So you've got storage underneath. Oh, the wow. Spots. Yep. Wow. And then in the in the chase lounges that have the uh, in the chase lounges that have the chase lounge end like this, you've got a lift up chase lounge end. So here Garbage you've got a waste can. basket. It's perfect for you know people not having to get up to throw something underneath the seats if you're trying to you know to, right, to just lean up. Yep, exactly. Yep. So you can tuck that right up and under. I know there. who I'm going to put in that seat. <laughs> okay. Right. And and now underneath here is and here is the same storage, same storage. as the other side. Okay. Yep. So let's move back here. Uh, what's down through this door? So almost exclusively on all of our tri-tunes, even our stock stuff, we bring it in as probably the most requested feature on a tri-tune is it's called in-floor storage. Yeah. Yep. So you've seen it, you know, yep. with, with a lot of the manufacturers, this particular one happens to be really, really big. So you have storage that runs, you know, back past where, where you're standing right now, and then all the way up into the bow of the boat. And really it's the center of, you know, it's it's the middle you, of the middle two. You could store a small yeah, yeah. Uh, I can climb down in there, in there, believe it or not. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. So your 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 top if you have a cover, complete cover, although yeah, that would yeah. store in there really yeah, nicely. It, it does. The cover fits really well on the side. If you do any uh 
you know, if you've got skis, if you've got, you can fit a wakeboard in there. Um, you can throw, yeah. you know, wet tubes bunched up down in there. You can that throw is rope. huge, folks. I mean, if yeah. I stood in there, I'd probably be up about up to here yeah. on me. And it's got a false floor on the bottom. So there's a mat in there with a false floor. Okay. So the mat's designed to be permeable, so less water right through it. So all the okay. water that's dripping out of your ropes or your skis or your tubes sure. or whatever, it drips through that false floor that's in there and down into basically a bilge in the bottom. Yep, and then you have pumps. a bilge pump function right. on your uh, at your that console. So you can just dump that water out. Because you know it's going to get wet. Yeah, you don't end up with that whatever. Whatever smell or you know mold yep. in there or anything like that awesome yep. and then air vents at the top to Correct. kind of keep everything yep. all right so then you have a, a just a small bit of storage yeah. underneath here you know it's nothing nothing too large yep. you know yep. yeah it's right a of storage. it's we like a monster's cave in there again so that's where the cover currently is, but Correct. man, I mean, that's like almost the full size of the council. Yeah, yeah, everything underneath there. It also that's allows you access in case you, yeah, in case you want to add anything or do anything different right. in the back of the console. Right, there you have a nice crawl-in space. You mm -hmm. could order a meal and camp in there for a couple hours. It's huge, and you got a door pocket. Huh, I got it. you got to like that. Okay, now coming back here, here's that table I talked about. I absolutely love this feel. Yeah. It feels like yeah, It's wood. got that green feel to it. Yes. It's also a matte finish, so like we said, it doesn't show all those scratches every time you, every time somebody slides something across the top of it. Yeah. And of course, you know, anytime you see a pole like this with an insert, it's removable. Yeah. Yep. You can pop that table right out so that you've got this free walk through all the way down the middle if it's in the way. All right. Do we have storage underneath this seat? Yep. Storage underneath pretty much all the seats in the boat. Oh, wow. Yep. Look at that. Okay, and then does this come up on that this? That particular one doesn't. On does this not. One. Okay, but the armrest comes down. Correct. And yep. look at that. You got another cup holder. Man, that's comfortable. Let's. We're going to come back to the driver's console because there's a few things to, to look at there. The cup holders are not only lit outside, mm -hmm. but inside mm -hmm. as well. There's a little. I, I didn't notice that until yep. just now when I got right on top of it. Yep. They all have drain tubes running out the bottom and they'll run down yep. into exit spots on the lower on the boats. They're designed to drain any of that moisture you'd be getting from the drinks. Yep. Now. What about any of the stores, like like underneath here? Yep. Is there a drain lip? Oh, sure. Yeah. So Bennington runs yep. a drain lip around the edges here. So if you, you yep. know, if the boat was out and uncovered, you know, you were getting you know, a, a, a rainstorm came through or whatever, all the stuff that would be hitting the, the the actual seat itself would flow down back of that drain spot. It has the same tubes running right. down underneath. Right. It has to go right down. Yep. Right. So it's not sitting in there and smelling Correct. and okay. Yep. All right, so then back to, man, another set of lounge chairs. Yes, yes. So this oh. particular this particular model is called an RCW. So so a rear-facing chaise lounge boat is kind of how we describe it, you know, within the line. So you get dual rear-facing chaise lounges, probably the most comfortable chaise, chaise lounges, you know, uh, you know, in, in a pontoon out there. Some of the flatbed stuff that we have out on the other stuff is real, real popular now, but it still doesn't match the comfort and the contour that you get of these full, you know, these full length chase lounges. These are nice. Mm -hmm. So do they lift up? Is there any storage so underneath technically them? You can lift the side over here. The fuel tank is located underneath there and then oh. battery component stuff is underneath there. Okay. So we tend to not bring that one up as much. This particular one over here, there's actually a privacy enclosure or a changing yep. room in the back of it. So this particular cushion pops right out. I'm going to have you hold yep. it for one second. So this cushion pops out and then this whole compartment lifts up. And this canvas spreads out, and there's snaps along the base of this canvas. Oh, so it actually so you can have it snapped, sure. and you know, all it the way. It's, its shape out. Yeah. Okay. So you can use this as a, you Same. know, as a changing room, or we do have a way. There's a, there's a, you know, if we do something with the backing in this compartment here, we have a way to kind of slide. Uh, we can just fit, you know, one of the marine porta potties perfectly in there, so okay. it'll tuck away, and this whole thing if will close up. Correct. Yeah. Okay. And again, might depend on the body of water on some sure. of these chains you can be quite a ways away from a cabin at, at any time okay so now you mentioned the gas tanks down here where is the gas tank fill cover so the fuel fills on the exterior on the port side, side of the boat right okay. on the back side of that couch yep. okay yep. all right now let's come back to my favorite area and that is the captain's helm yes yes <sighs> Wow. Yeah, Bennington. Uh, so here you have the R-Series helm. Um, it's an elevated helm, so it steps up a little bit. Um, yeah, that's about a four-inch rise. Yeah, a lot of people really like that for this uh -huh. fact. I mean, when you got guys like uh, sitting in front of you at the console and you're driving, you see those guys who they're always either sitting on uh, one knee or they're sitting on yeah. a stack of life jackets. Yeah. So they're kind of propped up on the back of their seat. Mm -hmm. Here you kind of uh, you get away from that. You don't necessarily have to, um, you know, to, to, to kind of 
strain to see above the, the passengers in front right. of you. So that's where the elevated helm comes in. We do have a tilt steering wheel. This particular boat, you'll notice, the first thing you notice is there's no gauge package on it like you see in a traditional, you know, in a traditional pontoon. Mm -hmm. um, this particular one, we have what they call a, a Simrad Go 7. This one is the nine inch graph. So um, this replaces everything. So this acts as as your sonar or your fish finder if you want it to be. It has uh, chart plotting navigation on it. It has turn by turn navigation on the water on it. Um, it also uh, has the ability to, you know, to sync up to your phone. Um, um, it, it integrates with a number of different, uh, you know, different options. So you can do features. media, you Correct. can do, yep. can, can you do, yeah, I'm assuming when it syncs with your phone that it's Bluetooth, not say Apple CarPlay or Android. Correct, Apple. it is. Yep. Bluetooth, okay. Yep. Yep, and same thing with the Rockford Fosgate stereo system in here. So it's all wireless Bluetooth. So you can uh, you can play everything you know uh, um, 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 wirelessly. There is still a traditional auxiliary plug and a USB plug in the in the oh, console itself. Okay, it's just incredible what technology has done. Because yeah. if someone had told you ten years ago, I'm going to put a flat screen in a boat, you'd have said you're crazy. It'll get wet and fry and. But you can, uh, I mean, this this responds to touch really well, doesn't it? Even with wet hands. Yes, and uh, and depending on where I have them, you can do split screen stuff. You'll get traditional gauge packages. Um, where's my... Yeah, so you can kind of customize a little bit what you're looking. Yeah, yeah, so you'll get you know you'll get gauge packages, and the the cool thing about this is that it's all tired in electronically to the wiring harness of the motor. So you're going to get gallons per hour consumption, accurate gallons yeah. per hour consumption. You're going to get a lot of the features that you used to have to you know, to, to deal with, particularly deal with digital control and cable stuff. So like, okay. you know, Mercat SmartCraft gauges, Yamaha DEC gauges would give you gallons per hour consumption, would give you, you know, oil oil information, right. capacity information, all that kind of stuff. So now you can, not only can you have that here, but everything's integrated. So you can change this, you know, this digital, you know, display around to show you whatever functions you feel are important to you, basically. And then it you runs know. just like an infotainment system. Yep. So I mean, it's exactly. just like your phone. Yep, yep. Wow, oh, that is just awesome. Now, up here you've got another USB uh, charging port or a 12 volt? This one is a traditional 12 volt accessory okay. adapter up here. Yep. All right, and talk, walk us through the switches down here. Yeah, so you have push button switches on the console now. So you've got, you know, a horn button. You're gonna have your bilge pump, which is located underneath the, you know, the, the yep. center tube down there. You're gonna have your accessory switch, which has got our graph on right now. You've got a mood light switch, which of course is running the accessory lights okay. that we have going on. Nav and anchor lights, so that'll be your legal nighttime, your red and green yep. and your white light off of the back of the bimini top. Um, the rest of these are open switches right now, and this is that controller that I was talking about that changes the color of the RGB okay. lights. Okay, so then uh, over here you've got just your standard key, because yep. it starts the same way that a car, you know, a yep. car used to anyways, yep. with the yep. key. Power and then uh, master power switch. Yep. So, so that's the, the day, whole master. Mm -hmm. So if you get off the boat and you say, I just want to be sure everything's shut off, yep. I can't, I just boom, hit that one button, off you go. Yep. But at the end of the day, if you flip that switch off, you know you've cut the power to kind of any of the culprits for running the battery dead. Okay, you've also got a smoked windshield, uh, half yep. a windshield coming up right yep. here in front. Now, let's say that I wanted to add another screen, because fishermen mm -hmm. will mm -hmm. sometimes have more than one screen. Mm -hmm. You got, to me, You've got one, two, and three different places to mount. Yeah, you, you, you could mount it here if you want. If you were mounting a smaller screen, yep. we tend to traditionally mount them on the ram mounts, right on oh, the right, right hand outside. corner out here, and then kind of angle them right in so they're right at a good angle for whoever's using them. Talk, tell us about the seat here. So this seat is an upgraded luxury recliner. So it's got the diamond pattern stitched into it all the way up to the top of the headrest, along with the Bennington logo. Um, it comes, you know, with the R series uh, sport uh, interior upgrade on it. Um, those Does seats it tilt? Go, uh, yep, they'll go forward, backward, the swivel 360, and they actually recline. Yep. Okay, and then yep. behind that you've got pocket stores, like yeah. like a net, netted stores yep. behind yep. here. Standard throttle. Yep. Um, is, is it digital or is it cable? This this is a mechanical uh, uh, mechanical uh, control box. Okay, and then of course your um, um, trim up and down. Yep, yep, you and got then, up and down, yep. You don't have that uh, that that you know that pull button to flip on the bottom right. of the console anymore because the way the you know the motors are nowadays. Um, the one you've got your fire extinguisher, your legal fire extinguisher, right, tucked right, right there in on the right hand side of the console. Man, that that is such a nice console. As we love, what is this light for? Just it's a, another. It's a courtesy light. So when you're running your nighttime, it's oh, kind you of, can actually. It's tied to your nighttime navigation lights. So it's kind of a reminder if you want to use this because it's getting a little bit dark at night yeah. and walking through the space is a little bit tough. It's just a reminder that, oh, hey, you know, you have to have these on. You should probably have those on 
because if it's it's dark enough to you know to, to be walking See through there. this area, you should have your night lights on. So they tie okay. it into the same switch. Tell us real quick about the top here. Yeah, so Bennington has a. Uh, has a, uh, a quick release bimini top. So everything clicks in and clicks out. It's anodized black, just like the, the rest of the rails on the boat are. Uh, one thing that Bennington's known for is is, uh, is having a 10 foot bimini as opposed to a lot of eight and nine foot ones that you see in the other pontoons. So you get quite a bit of, you know, quite a bit of shade, shade with their coverage. particular, yeah, their bimini top. Um, their quick release system is patented and, and I really believe that, you know, we would see it on most bimini top stuff compared to that old, you know, pin style bimini oh, top. Oh yeah, used to I've have seen it. that take two people, pull down on the front, line the pin up and put yep. the hook in. Everything here just clicks right in and clicks right out. Um, you know, so one person operation. Easy, very easy. Yep. Okay, so let's talk about uh, the pricing as equipped mm -hmm. because this has some extra packages on it, mm -hmm. like the blackout. Yeah, this one has okay. blackout, the ski toe bar, the tri -tunes. A lot of people think the tri -tune is a different model of boat altogether and really it's actually an option, an option at the factory. Because you can buy the same boat which is pontoons. Correct. Yep. You could buy this, the same exact layout, same furniture set in a 2-2 two -two pontoon. Yep. Okay. So with this particular layout, what does this boat run? This boat right now is 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 uh, is in the the 120s right now. Okay. Yep. All right. But remember that includes your motor. Yeah. 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 Which so that's, is a huge expense. Yep. That's water ready. So we, you know, that would be, um, you know, boat, a motor, you know, tested, detailed, you know, rigged, ran out, gassed up, ready to, you know, hit the lake. Right. The lake. Yep. Okay. Uh, how about warranty? So Bennington has uh, what they call uh, lifetime plus 10. So lifetime warranty on all the structural components of the boat. So the floor, the floor joists, uh, the tubes, the rails and panels. Even even this, like what we're looking at for flooring? Uh, the, the vinyl topping has is, is in the 10 year warranty. Okay. The actual uh, marine grade plywood floor and the floor joists underneath are, are lifetime warranty. Okay. Correct, yep. Um, seat structure is considered lifetime warranty. So all the seat base structure, bimini top, rails, panels, uh, flooring, uh, subflooring, and then tubes are all lifetime. Okay. And then everything else is blanketed with a 10-year warranty. So okay. vinyl, console stuff, uh, table stuff, everything else inside the boat has a 10-year. Uh, wow. the, both of their warranties are 100% parts and labor warranty. Um, they're okay. not prorated uh, like a lot of the other manufacturers. Hey, so it's, you get, all correct. right. Yeah, if we're, so if we're in year it's... nine and a half and we've got a stitch going wrong on a, on a, on a seat, you know, you're getting it paid for 100% wow. parts and labor wow. warranty. Wow. Okay, so I'm, if I'm a customer and I want to come in and I want to order one, typically there's a wait time. Mm -hmm. If I come in and say I want this boat, mm -hmm. obviously things have changed a little bit during the during the you know the, the pandemic and some yeah. of the production schedules we've yeah, had right now. Yep, but we're actually uh, we're actually progressing pretty quickly back the other direction. So right now we're standing here, June twenty second. Um, I'm building basically the end of the second week of August right now on boats. Really? Yeah. Yep. Yep. So wow, I mean, that's really shortened up. Awesome. Well, TJ, thank you so much for yeah. sharing, uh, you know, the, this beautiful Benetton uh, Tritune uh, and taking us around on a tour. What a what absolutely incredible pontoon. You bet. Yeah, thank you guys very much for coming in. And if anybody has any questions, stop on in and see us up here at Miller Marine in St. Cloud. Thanks for watching.